today we discuss on transcritical bifurcation Transcritical bifurcation is a particular kind of local bifurcation in which a critical point exists for all values of a parameter and is never destroyed. Critical point exists, fixed point, critical point exists for all values of parameter, parameter r and never destroyed this fixed point never destroyed however such a fixed point interchanges its stability interchanges its stability first uh, suppose uh, fixed point is stable then after fixed point uh, it is unstable with another fixed point as the parameter is varied such a fixed point interchanges suppose some fixed point is stable and after after some uh, point uh, after some uh, point it is unstable and another fixed point is unstable then after some origin it is stable is varied in other words both before and after bifurcation there is one unstable and one stable fixed point both before and after bifurcation there is one unstable and one stable fixed point their stability is exchanged when they collide so the unstable fixed point becomes stable and vice versa unstable fixed point becomes stable and stable fixed point becomes Unstable. Consider the differential equation uh, dx dt equal to rx minus x square. Here x is the state variable that is the density of population and t is the time parameter and r is the uh, parameter uh, for this uh, bifurcation parameter and for fixed point we know dx dt equal to 0. So rx minus x square equal to 0 gives x equal to 0 and x equal to r. So uh, there are two fixed point on x star say x1 star is 0 and x2 star equal to r. Let fx r equal to rx minus x square. The right hand side expression in the equation 1 is called fx. Then uh, del f del x equal to r minus 2x. So del f del x at the point x equal to 0, this equals to r. Put here uh, first uh, fixed point x star x1 star equal to 0. So del f del x at the point x x1 star equal to 0 is r. And del f del x at the x2 star equals to r put x2 star equal to r so r minus 2r is equal to minus r now if r is negative then x1 star is stable since x1 x1 star stable since r is negative so del del f del del x at x1 star equal to 0 is negative so this is stable and x2 star equal to r is unstable because uh, del f del x at x2 star equal to r equal to minus r and r is negative so this is positive so so uh, x2 star equal to r is unstable fixed point and when r is positive x1 star is stable 
sorry x1 star is unstable as uh, del f del x x1 star uh, equal to 0 x1 star equals to 0 x1 star equals to 0 x2 star equal to r this x2 star equal to r and this is positive so this is unstable and for uh, x2 star equal to r is unstable equilibrium point at del f del x at the point x2 star equal to r equal to minus r so minus r r is positive so this is negative so this is stable so bifurcation occurs at r equal to 0 so uh, this is the his diagram page portrait uh, this is x uh, horizontal axis is x and vertical axis is dx dt so these graphs uh, denotes uh, shows rx rx minus x square so this graph is rx minus x square rx minus x square this graph is uh, y equal to something y equal to this if y axis is dx dt so y equal to rx minus x square is this graph and uh, for this graph is the this graph uh, car x axis cars this graph at the point this this point 0 so this called it x1 star x1 star and this point is x2 star and for this x2 star is unstable because dx dt here is positive dx dt positive so put here right sided arrow and here uh, in the left side of this point x2 star is dx dt is negative so put your left sided arrow so um, all points uh, 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 away from this point and uh, from this point towards this way uh, this way and so x2 star is unstable fixed point and for origin this dx dt is positive so put here right side right sided arrow and here in the uh, for these points uh, is dx dt is negative so put here left sided arrow so uh, this uh, fixed point 0 is stable uh, fixed point stable equilibrium point at, uh, as if it is adductor it is an adductor adductor and all this so this is stable and uh, for when r is negative when r is negative if r equal to 0 then r is negative so this if r is equal to 0 so we get uh, this graph and this r equal to 0 so uh, r equal to 0 is the only point uh, touches the x-axis so uh, this point is the fixed point uh, but we cannot decide uh, by the sign of del f del x uh, at the point 0 because this is uh, derivative dx dt is negative so put here left side arrow so this is unstable and this is unstable side and this uh, this point for this point uh, for this point here dx dt is negative put here left left side arrow so uh, left side of the point origin of the origin is attractor but uh, right side of the origin is repulse repulse so uh, this is stable side so actually uh, from this graph we can say uh, this origin is uh, half stable or semi stable and when r greater than 0 r, r greater than 0 then graph y equal to rx minus x square uh, is this and so uh, this cards uh, this graph cards x axis at origin and this point so this is x1 star first uh, equilibrium point and second point is x2 star equal to r this point is r x2 star and for this and uh, dx dt is negative so put here left sided arrow and for this side uh, dx dt is positive so put here uh, right center right hand arrow and um, for the equilibrium so this uh, point x1 star equal to 0 is unstable and for this point x2 star x2 star uh, this side is dx dt is positive so put here right hand arrow and for this side dx dt is negative put here 
left side left handed arrow so this point is an attractor and so this is point is stable point so we uh, bifurcation diagram we can draw draw bifurcation diagram uh, when uh, this axis horizontal axis is r axis and vertical axis is x x axis x axis so this point when uh, r is negative when r is negative so x x x x star equal to zero. this line is x star equal to zero so line is x star equals to zero first x one star equal to zero so this line so this point or all point collection of this point for r negative is all stable so we draw thick line for this stable collection of all stable points so uh, this is an attractor so uh, arrow uh, attract uh, all these points attack to this uh, line x star equal x1 star equal to 0 and other points other stable point is uh, x star equal to x2 star equal to uh, r x2 star equal to r when r is negative uh, so uh, this is unstable so we draw um, this uh, uh, line for the unstable so this point is unstable so put here this arrow uh, repulsive and origin after origin when r is positive so this x2 star equal to r this collection of all equilibrium points is stable because x2 star equal to r is stable for r is positive so this is stable so this is an attractor so put here uh, attractor so put arrow towards this line and uh, this point dotted line uh, this x, x1 star equal to 0 uh, it is dotted line this x1 star equal to 0 dotted line because uh, this is unstable x star x1 star equal to 0 uh, first equilibrium point is unstable when r is positive so this is uh, repulsive uh, for this equilibrium point repulsive so put here this arrow so this line is uh, unstable so when r is negative this x1 star is stable and so put here uh, thick line draw here thick line and this dotted line on x2 star equal to r this line is unstable so uh, put here dotted line after the point zero this uh, unstable branch uh, changes to stable branch and this x, x1 star equal to zero uh, after uh, zero point zero this stable branch uh, a, a is a changes to unstable branch thus equilibrium thus equilibrium x x equal to 0 is stable actually x x1 star equals to 0 equals is stable for r is negative and unstable for r greater than 0 while equilibrium x2 star uh, equal to r is unstable for r less than 0 and stable for r greater than 0 note that although x1 star is asymptotically stable for r is less than 0 it is not globally stable x1 star uh, is asymptotically stable for r is negative uh, it is not globally stable it is unstable to negative perturbation of magnitude greater than r which can be small near the bifurcation point bifurcation point is uh, point is origin bifurcation point here this is origin so magnitude perturbation uh, it is unstable to negative perturbation of magnitude greater than r magnitude greater than r which can be small near bifurcation point bifurcation point here 0 0 origin the basic trivial solution branch here x equal to 0 x equal to 0 exists for 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 x equal to 0 means horizontal line because uh, in this graph this horizontal axis is r axis and vertical axis is x axis so x equal to 0 represents the horizontal line so x equal to 0 exists for all values of r there is a second solution branch x equal to r that crosses the first one at a bifurcation point 0 0 when the branches cross one solution goes from stable to unstable while the other goes from unstable to stable this phenomenon is referred to as 
exchange of stability. Now uh, we can see uh, by GeoGebra X and this is the fetch portrait uh, this uh, parameter R. So when R is negative, when R is negative, suppose R equal to minus 2.2. So uh, we get uh, two point two points um, at uh, meet meet with x axis. This origin, this x one star equal to zero. This is the uh, green circle, and the red by red cross this unstable point is x two star equal to r. This unstable point and this axis, this uh, this uh, curve is y equal to rx y equal to rx minus x square so um, these uh, uh, these uh, critical points equilibrium points uh, this 0 x1 x1 star equal to 0 and x2 star equal to r this uh, point x2 star equal to r is unstable and this x1 star equal to stable so we uh, put here green circle here and for this point uh, for this point r equal to minus 2.2 and bifurcation diagram uh, we get this for uh, r equal to r equal to this point 0 for this uh, axis r axis and this is the x axis so this is the 0 for this corresponds to the point 0 and correspond to the point this this point this so when uh, increase the value of r then then change the graph then a uh, new graph of this this and when r equal to 0 uh, graph is this so uh, this and this is the this line x equal to 0 x equal to 0 this green line left hand side uh, when r is negative left hand side of the uh, um, x axis so this the uh, green this green line so this is stable stable branch and after origin this line x equal to x equal to r is stable but uh, after um, origin when r is positive this line is uh, a red dotted line because this is unstable and this dotted line represents the unstable branch unstable branch so when r is r is positive suppose r equal to 2.2 2.3 so this origin this origin is unstable and this x2 star equal to r is stable so uh, for this stable point this is the stable point and origin is unstable so this is the unstable so uh, by this graph this is the left in the left hand side bifurcation diagram bifurcation diagram and the right hand side is fetch portrait and we can uh, describe the transcritical uh, bifurcation um, beautifully by this diagram when r is negative this equilibrium point one is stable and other is unstable uh, changes their behavior after crosses the origin stable branch uh, going to unstable branch and uh, unstable branch changes to stable branch